City Spotlight is supported by Consolidated Communications. CCI is honored to salute the cities and their leaders in the area, as well as providing TV, internet, and phone service to local homes and businesses. We live where we work and are proud to support the communities we serve. More information available at Consolidated.com. Hello and welcome to City Spotlight. We're continuing Season 9 here as we present this episode to you in the latter half of November. In this episode, we're going to present services held on Veterans Day 2022 in the communities of Charleston and Mattoon. First, in Charleston, we'll have Veterans Day services taking place at Eastern Illinois University's Old Main. Then we'll be outside in Mattoon along Broadway Avenue and at Peterson Park. We salute all of our veterans as we present this Veterans Day episode in the communities of Charleston and Mattoon in Season 9 of City Spotlight. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Eastern Illinois University's Veterans Day Ceremony. I am your Master of Ceremonies, Cadet Luke Reeves. This ceremony is to honor all veterans of the Army, Marine Corps, Navy, Air Force, and Coast Guard, both those who have made the ultimate sacrifice and to those with us today. While World War I officially ended June 28, 1919 with the singing of the Treaty of Versailles, the actual fighting ended seven months earlier. The armistice went into effect in 1918 on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, proclaimed a day of Thanksgiving by President Wilson in 1919. November 11th became a holiday in 1926 and a national holiday 12 years later. On June 1st, 1954, Congress changed the name to Veterans Day to honor all U.S. veterans. Today, we ensure our veterans know we deeply appreciate the sacrifices they have made in their lives to keep the tree of liberty alive. To begin our ceremony, please rise and render appropriate honors for the posting of the colors by the Panther Battalion and the singing of the national anthem by Eastern Illinois University student Monica Alephantis. Please join me in a moment of silence in remembrance of our veterans today. Please be seated. <clears throat> veterans Day comes to us with many traditions and symbols. These symbols demonstrate our appreciation to our veterans and reminds us of their determination and pride in defending the United States. A flag is a symbol of history, pride, and honor. 
Our national flag is well known. From legendary origins, the stars and stripes have flown the world on land, sea, and air, and has even been planted on the moon. From 13 stars to 50, today we remember those men and women who have defended that flag and the people of laws that it represents. To honor the veterans of all of the armed services, we have the flags of the Army, Marines, Navy, Air Force, and Coast Guard. A flag may be only a piece of cloth in the breeze, but when used as a symbol, it embodies the storied history, current achievements, and future promises of people. The laying of a wreath is another symbol. The word decoration comes from the Latin word decore, to adorn or beautify. Flowers have traditionally been laid on graves and memorials in memory of the dead. The laurel is a symbol of honor woven into a wreath by the ancient Romans to create crown victors and the brave. Rosemary is associated with remembrance, and since World War I, the poppy also recalls the service of our veterans. Eastern Illinois University remembers our military veterans by placing this wreath at the base of our national flag at the end of today's ceremony. It will be carried to the EIU Veterans Memorial by EIU student and veteran Angelo Sawecki Wilder and EIU President Dr. David Glassman in order to symbolize Eastern's commitment to its veterans, acknowledging their service and sacrifice. At this time, please welcome our student speaker, Angelo Sawecki Wilder. Hello there, folks. So, my military service career has been pretty short, but like, like a lot of young Americans, I joined the United States military because I was lost and I needed some way to find my true self and my potential in life. So I joined the United States Army National Guard, and from there I've been able to learn discipline, selfless service, courage, and commitment, and among other things, to help establish a common, per a common place in this country of prosperity for all Americans. And then I've been able to transition those skills into college and be, be able to take what I've learned from the Army and transition that into a civilian life and learn and take into getting education at a college institute level. So with that, I also give thanks to everyone else that's ever served or supported the United States Armed Forces in any type of way, either with charitable acts of kindness to veterans or them themselves giving the ultimate sacrifice and losing and having to lose their loved ones forever and going to a better place in this, beyond this world. Thank you very much for this honor of letting me speak today at this ceremony. Please welcome the president of Eastern Illinois University, Dr. David Glassman. Good morning. I'm Dr. David Glassman, President of Eastern Illinois University. Before I get started, I want to say what a beautiful rendition that you did of the Star Spangled Banner. You know, because of the... <laughs> because of the pomp and circumstance of the, you know, of, of, of the moment, you didn't get the recognition that I, I, that I think you deserve. It was so beautiful, uh, so thank you for that. I want to thank everyone for being with us today as we once again come together to honor the men and women who have so gallantly saved or served this country. In 1918, on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, major hostilities in World War I came to an end. On that day, Eastern Illinois State Normal School rejoiced alongside the rest of the world. The first of the school's volunteers for the U.S. Army had enlisted on April 18, 1917. Eleven of the, of the 17 young men in that class entered military service. Eastern's librarian at that time, Mary Josephine Booth, took a leave of absence to work for the Red Cross in France and Germany. As a volunteer, she paid all of her own expenses, including travel, board, and lodging. She was the only faculty member to serve overseas during World War I. All in all, 
more than 200 former students of Eastern's model school and normal school, as well as four former faculty members served in the armed forces during that four-year conflict. In 1919, U.S. President World War Woodrow Wilson proclaimed November 11th as the first commemoration of Armistice Day. Later in 1938, an act of Congress ordered the 11th of November to be recognized as an annual legal holiday, a day dedicated to the cause of world peace. This day of remembrance is now known as Veterans Day and remains in place today to celebrate all veterans. It is fitting that we too continue to commemorate Veterans Day at Eastern Illinois University. EIU has a proud history of brave and honorable students, faculty and staff, some long removed from today and others who are here and now, who together have served their country as members of the U.S. Armed Forces. In the fall of 1941, several 18 and 19 year olds from what was then the Eastern Illinois State Teachers College joined the enlisted reserve corps of the Army, immediately subject to the call of active duty. That call came on April 3, 1943, with about 20 of the enlistees leaving Charleston by train at 3 a.m. From 1941 to 1945, more than 1,400 Eastern students, faculty, and staff, including 33 women who served as nurses, wax, and waves, served in the military. Among those who served was Major Carlos C. Ogden, class of 1941. He received the Congressional Medal of Honor, America's highest military award, for his conspicuous gallantry at the risk of life above and beyond the call of duty for his brave actions on the morning of June 25, 1944, near Fort de Rudel, France. Although wounded himself, he advanced under Axis fire to silence two German machine guns that had pinned down his men. In March of 1966, Tom Jennings, former defensive starter on the 1964 football team and a member of Sigma Tau Gamma fraternity, became Eastern's first known casualty of the Vietnam War. And in March of 1973, then EIU President Gilbert C. Fight held a reception honoring the 600 Vietnam veterans attending EIU. Our Army Reserve Officer Training Corps, ROTC classes, began on campus in 1980. Since then, the EIU Panther Battalion has led to the commission of hundreds of young men and women into the U.S. Army Reserve and National Guard. 29 years ago, on Veterans Day in 1991, I guess that would be not 30 years ago, 31 years ago now, Eastern paid special tribute to 25 of its students, faculty and staff, who served in Desert Storm. Those operations, along with the Iraqi Freedom of, and the War on Terrorism campaigns, have sent our servicemen and women to the shores of each of Earth's habitable continents. There, these Americans selflessly continue to uphold and protect our country's freedom and safety while confronting crimes against humanity across the globe. Today, we pay our respects to the sacrifices of every veteran, including those throughout our nation's history and those members here with us today that allow us to enjoy moments like this. EIU continues to support the freedoms of our country and its servicemen and women as we offer their citizens and the protections they, they selflessly uh, assist and offer to the world. This is why I stand here before you today as the nation observes Veterans Day, to reiterate the importance of remembering the sacrifices and bravery of those who serve their country and who have served Eastern Illinois University throughout past wars and in times of peace. We ask everyone to take a minute of silence at 11 o'clock a.m. today in respect to those gallant military servicemen and women who made the ultimate sacrifice in protecting our nation and our freedoms. Thank you all for your contributions to our military services and for taking the time to join us today as EIU observes Veterans Day alongside the rest of the country. Thank you.
We thank our veterans here with flags and words, and remember our companions past with symbols of remembrance. Today's customary three volleys of shots fired in honor of deceased veteran probably originated as far as back as the Roman Empire. The Roman funeral rite included calling volley three times while leaving the grave. These three calls made natural the three musket volleys in more recent years. Two warring sides would stop fighting in order to take care of their dead on the battlefield. Three volleys announced that the burials were complete and the force was ready to resume battle. Of all the military bugle calls, none is so easily recognized or more apt to render emotion than taps. The music for taps was adapted by Union Civil War General Daniel Butterfield for his unit in July of 1862, and it continues to be used today for the end of the military day and end of a military life. Please stand as the Army ROTC Panther Battalion sounds the three volleys, followed immediately by taps played by EIU student Anissa Massey. specific reason that you come out to you know honor the veterans on this day or um I have a family packed full of veterans so I come out with them and enjoy the parade so what's the meaning for you I guess um, um for me I am honestly very proud to have a bunch of veterans in my family um, and I'm very thankful for their service I like uh, su supporting fellow veterans, and uh, today is uh, kind of a, a day of remembrance of fallen soldiers and fellow uh, military guys and women. I was in the Navy, uh, served on the USS Abraham Lincoln aircraft carrier. Uh, I've done a tour over in the uh, Persian Gulf with the uh, Desert Storm. Um, we had uh, 7,000 men on the ship, uh, done flight ops all the time. Uh, but, uh, but I was one of the guys that were down below decks uh, keeping the ship running and stuff. So, so yeah, was, and then uh, the fire department, I ran the fire department also on the ship. So, yeah. Was... How do you feel when you think back about your service? Uh, proud. I, I, uh, I'm glad I served. Uh, best, best thing that ever happened to me in my life. Uh, it was life changing, really. Because, you know, growing up a kid, uh, 
don't have any plans for future. You know, college wasn't the ideal thing for me. And uh, if it wasn't for the service, you know, I wouldn't have met my wife and uh, had a family. And so it turned out really well for me. We were both served over uh, in the Persian Gulf and uh, Desert Storm. Uh, we came back to the States, both of us stationed in Alameda, California. Her ship was on one, on the same pier as mine. Uh, we sat side by side. We had mutual friends. Uh, and then we just started hanging out and going to the movies and stuff. And it turned out great, and we've been together 30 years. So, so and we, have, we have a great family. So I got seven grandkids and <laughs> two grand two daughters. So it's it must be. I mean, you have your whole family out here. You know, yeah. you're a veteran, and it's a family thing out yes. here in the parade. How does that make you feel? Uh, it's it just it's one of the best days that I like celebrating of the year. You know, it just uh, means a lot to me. Uh, it it kind of reminds me of the the corral that we get when we're in the service, you know, you, you get your buddies, you know, uh, these, you know, my family's my buddies now. So, so yeah, it's, uh, it's, I really like it. And then, uh, our son-in-laws and stuff, you know, they've been, they're here. So it's pretty cool. Yes. I always enjoy this parade. Always enjoy getting here with the veterans and stuff. It's always a good deal. Well, it's good to see this because it, it teaches the younger people, uh, what, what went on before them. A lot of younger people today don't really remember that. They don't feel as uh, as patriotic as a lot of the older people do. What's the importance of this day to you personally? Well, to me, it it gives me a chance to remember a lot of people. My whole family is uh, like very military. Like my dad was in, my mom was in, which my uncles are. So uh, it's just kind of like a day for me to like more appreciate them, you know, and that they're like still around. Just the the training and the friendship. Uh, I've reconnected with some of my navy buddy navy buddies. Uh, it's been 30 years, so and we we finally got back together, and so it's it's been really great, you know. So we meet up different places all over the United States every year, so. So it's pretty cool. Both of my daughters work for the schools, one one in the Riddle Elementary and the other one in the Williams Elementary and uh, done the Veterans Day both places yesterday. Fantastic. I mean, I couldn't ask for any more and those kids, you know, they were just exceptional. And uh, for them to sing, uh, you know, the different uh, songs for each service was just fantastic. And uh, and then, you know, the parade at the end, you know, the, the kids line the hallways and, uh, you know, they constantly thank you and hand you letters and that meant a lot. So, but yeah, both schools did an excellent job yesterday. You know, thanking us for our service, it's, it's a nice gesture. Um, it's, it's nice being recognized. I get thanked all the time. Um, you know, it, uh, it makes you realize um, you know, you gave your life for your country, and you know you were willing to make that sacrifice. Um, and 
you know, by them saying thank you, that, you know, it means a lot. And then, you know, just day-to-day -day recognition, and it's not even on Veterans Day. It's, it's every day, wherever I go. You know, people, you know, they're nice. They'll, they'll buy you a drink, you know. Uh, uh, you know, you go into a gas station, they'll buy your coffee, you know. And, and we don't ask for that, you know. It's not something that we're like, hey, you know, I'm a veteran, you gotta buy me something. No, this, there's so many people in the community that's, that's, uh, that's uh, very appreciative. <clears throat> but uh, it's nice, it's a nice gesture. Uh, it means a lot to me. I just wanna thank all my fellow veterans and uh, active military for doing what they did. Uh, serving their country and uh, giving that you know that sacrifice and uh, for all the fallen fallen uh, military members of all branches uh, you know I, I lost a few buddies you know so but uh, you know just pray for them and be there for them. City Spotlight is supported by Consolidated Communications. CCI is honored to salute the cities and their leaders in the area, as well as providing TV, internet, and phone service to local homes and businesses. We live where we work and are proud to support the communities we serve. More information available at consolidated.com.